We're doing another beer with Hourglass Brewing. I, right, love, I love Hourglass beer. Right there in Longwood. Scootin' Tootin' Pale Ale will be available June 10th. Um, we're going to start the event at 5. Are these little beers? Because is it, is no, it really big a, boys. Is, oh, well, it, it's a Daniel-themed beer. Yeah, yeah. I think you grab your four-pack on yeah. June 10th. And, it's uh, a pale ale. You'll love it. We're bringing in Curtis Earth to do some trivia. All Daniel's life theme trivia. Why are you doing this? You know something <laughs> I don't know about a disease I have? Am I dying? Uh, the uh, Eric Pabone did the art. It's yeah, great. It's really cool. And uh, the trivia starts at 630, and we got some awesome prizes. Um, Daniel, Sam, and myself will be joking around on the mic, kind of doing the show while we do the trivia. Yeah, we've never really done anything like that, so why not yeah. try it at Hourglass? Completely free event, and Hourglass is gigantic. So get a team together. Meet us at Hourglass. June 10th is our beer release for Scootin' and Tootin' Pale Ale. Yep. And uh, we'll see you there at 5. With us today, he's back in town. He's back, baby. Hold on. Let me get I, him this. He's back, baby. Ooh, I, I like the good horn. Akeem, yeah. I feel like you you you, know, you started off in Orlando. Meek, uh, mild. Li- uh, didn't even orphan. know he was gay. Didn't even know he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, knew, I, knew, I knew I was gay. I, I didn't saying, tell y'all. I remember, well, I, mean, I remember when people didn't know you were yeah, gay. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Start off a closeted gay orphan yeah. uh, in Orlando. Then you now got shot off into the world. Fucking killing it. And uh, wow. you're traveling the world. I'm and in New you're York, grinding yeah. in New York. And he's hobnobbing with some of the biggest celebrities. Been on some of the biggest podcasts. I, was I just know. watching you on, uh, on uh, what is it? What were the decisions? Angela uh, Yee's. Lip uh, service. Yeah, I did lip service. I saw you on that. Okay, uh, it's funny how big podcasting got. I don't even know. I, yeah, the yeah. biggest podcast, I just know uh, Rogan, oh, Corolla, yeah. <laughs> Mark Maron. Yeah, yeah, you just named three white dudes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's, the old, That's the old white man <laughs> podcast. Yeah. You're the problem. Uh, I, stopped, I stopped at that. Uh, anyway, so Akeem, um, I, I'm, okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous of you uh, because you're out there. Living your best life, like I said. Are you single? Or you're single. I'm single. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm fucking strangers, but I'm single. And uh, and it's been a long time since I fucked strangers. I had yeah, I fucked the stranger two days ago. I'm a little bit uh, a stranger. Yeah, <laughs> he never got to do that three times actually. Three times. There's hookup apps yeah. now in the yeah. same day. Yeah. So what happens is he came over on his work break. I live in the East Village. In a, I live in a studio in the East Village, so it's like right by everything is right by NYU, and a lot of a lot of people work over there. Yeah. So he hit me up it's on kind of like Cas- I only know Castleberry and uh, uh, what's, Fern Park. What's nothing like that. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. So he hit me up on the app, and we would text it back and forth. And he came over, and we hooked up, and it was like we immediately had like amazing sexual chemistry. Like it was amazing. So we, we hooked up, and then he left, and then the whole time we're texting while he's at work. And he's like, he wanted to come by after work, but he didn't have time because he had a meeting. Damn, Akeem, it was so good. He had to yeah. come back. He's like, hey, but I got a that, meeting, but I need some more dick. But then he messaged me again like at, at 5 o'clock. He's like, yo, I'm coming back over. So he came back over. We hooked up again. He left his badge oh, thing at to, my... That's on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He that's left what his, you do. He, he left his badge at my apartment. So later on, like, ele- like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I texted him. Oh, yo, you left your badge here. He's like... He's like, damn, I'll come back and get it tomorrow. And I'm like, I can't. I'm flying to Orlando tomorrow, and I'm going to be on tour. I don't get back until the 10th. And he's like, damn, all right, I'm going to come back. So he came back and yeah. got his badge, and we hooked up again. Again! <laughs> Triple yeah, threat. Yeah, yeah. So right. we hooked up three With times. With a badge on and top. And is there yeah, any yeah. emotions involved or uh, I mean, manipulation? Horniness. <laughs> Sexual yeah. emotions. But the, yeah. oh, God, I mean, every stroke a, has a... Uh, yeah. He's doing it with purpose. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that he, was, happen. he was hot. hot. He was like 25. He had like tattoos. He was super hot. There you go. See, yeah. I, I feel like I have the energy. Like, Akeem, I'm older than you are. Yeah, um, he knows that. No, no, not. Old people. I mean, hey, white to people. Like a, uh, the white people age the same. Yeah, like yeah. when you look. How at old us, are you? Uh, uh, forty-one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And you, I, and you, you know my age. I'm older than him. Yeah, how old? Yeah, are you? forty-six. Forty-six. Uh, yeah. I'm like a fifty-year-old man. Akeem, yeah. I coming saw, up for a landing. I saw the energy. Uh, no, you I, I can uh, go out there and grind it out too. Like uh, I can travel the world. Grind and, it out and from uh, city to city. You would and, not be able to travel by yourself. <laughs> you I, need a conservator. No, Akeem can do it. I can do it. Book the hotels. How many women have you had sex with? Oh, no. One. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, just, been, uh, yeah, just, just my wife. Uh, Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see I the look on Joe's face? Did you see oh, the look on no. Joe's face? You don't believe him, do you? I grew up in small town Miami. No, wait, you small <laughs> town Miami. Wait, 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 wait. I grew up in Deland, tiny little bumpkin town with tractors and have shit. Have you literally? This only guy had grew sex up in Miami. One woman. You've only had sex with one woman. 
Yeah, well, I mean, listen. It, no uh, trollop tales to this It's not that I didn't no. want to. It's just, some, you know, things happen. All of a sudden, like, I'm like, what the hell? I'm in Casamere Prison. Ago, 20 years ago, I was wandering the streets of Orlando yeah. as a young, hetero, chubbier, and shorter Akeem. Uh, I was yeah. fucking everything I could find. Do. Wait, wait, wait. Has she only had sex with one man? No. 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 <laughs> well, there was Antonio before me. Uh, oh, this is an no. high school. Antonio before Tom. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She's still oh, yeah, has a dread. Well, then you should, were you trying to think of a rhyme, Sam? Because no. I, I thought you were Antonio before Tom. You should, the say you should try another one. Uh, well, I can now. I told you. <laughs> the, I, I, you, know, you guys can be open. Gay, gay people no, are open all the time. That doesn't no. He's work. got it locked up now. She's, it works for us. Akeem, she, well, I know her. it works for yeah. you. <laughs> That's why I'm talking about it <laughs> and uh, fantasizing about living the comic life because I feel like I can put an act together and, uh, you know. Oh, wait, let's uh, not belittle what I do. For <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does that to everyone. Uh, no, you can just take me under your wing and no, I can open he, for you. I'm not going to have a white, straight dude open for me. No. What, but it's, 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 it's the difference. Like, people are like, oh, what is this? No, no, no. Like, you know. going to be black women. <laughs> do you no. have to think, of, like, t- let's talk about that. Because, I mean, your career is is not only taking shape. I mean, you're currently shaping it. Thank you. Do you have to... Put a lot of. Do you have older comics and like God, Godfrey? Yeah. Do you have people that sit you down and say, "Hey, you need to think about this. You need to think uh, about this." Sometimes, you need to but do this. I, I like my openers are always my friends, and I just have such a diverse group of friends that my openers tend to be just my friends. My friends tend to be people of color and queer people and stuff like that. That's sure. just by happenstance. Yeah, but um, what about just a regular old white dad? Hard <laughs> that's of those. That's so, that's so <laughs> different than your friends. A man that, that describes himself bizarre. as you describe yourself earlier is having resting mad face. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. every comedian yeah. that's, wants yeah. to that's, open. Like, oh yeah, they'll war- he'll warm the crowd perfectly. That's my By personal way, time. Luke of the Lizard came <laughs> my out. my personal time. Luke of the Lizard came Hi. out. He Joe came was out trying to, to, <laughs> How trying he, to he pet him. Just climb yeah. out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's free out. range. Yeah, 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 he's a free range lizard yeah, yeah. we have in here. Yeah, he shits everywhere. Maybe little, he's trying to go on tour with little the team. white. He can come on tour. Shits. I have the lizard before I have. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, yeah. the uh, lizard can Luca. do a type five. So uh, describe it to me, Akeem. Uh, give me because I have to live vicariously through you. Because, like I said, I'm in uh, the Castlebury prison um, where you know. Oh I'm, my God! So you never had like a threesome. I no, never, no, I never, there was a, you there was a gray area. area. No, I, I, I slept with a lot of ladies. We? I slept with a lot of ladies, but I, that's not one. And I've okay. never, uh, never had anal sex uh, with a woman either. Okay. We're real open about the shit we do on you the show. You guys should like, go to a sex party. Or I, sex don't, I don't think that, I want butt sex. That, that, I'm, I'm yeah, not yeah. anti it yeah. at all, really. It's just, I don't know. I, I've had no reason to have it. You, you and your wife should go to a sex club. I just went Again, to one recently. The woodshed. It, it's like yeah, you yeah. need to tie your titties up till they turn purple. It's yeah. like you're talking to David Hasselhoff <laughs> currently and telling him you should start a movie. Again. <laughs> 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 it's dried up again. It's it done. doesn't exist. It's of course he wants done. to. Just he, can, he can't do what, it. Just what, go. That's with. the weirdest analogy. Ever. What, that what, was I weird totally analogy. understood it though. But what's Hasselhoff like, supposed ha- to do? He can do it. Akeem. When's your um? When's your anniversary? Well, how is anybody supposed to know that? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does that. Didn't it just pass? No, March your, 1st. Uh, is your, are you and your wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys should go to like something fun. Like, do something fun for you. I don't think his wife would do it. Like, the, if it's kinky, I'm oh, not sure yeah, she yeah, would. You're not, you're not into that. Uh, this is a whole different world uh, up here. <laughs> it's, a, it's reverse scuba diving. It's boring. I, you can, you can, I fuck some hot ass dads. No. I understand that. Uh, that have, these are not that. That, that have <laughs> they like, barely leave their homes. Okay. <laughs> so tell me about it. Again. Do any so, of the dads you fuck have families, and they're like, "Hey, just probably, you know. yeah." Oh, like yeah, that. you don't talk like, about oh, it. Oh, I like that. You're fucking okay. the dads, and then they're having to hide it. Okay, yeah. I'm glad oh, I keep I love that. I've had this question for a while that I've been waiting to ask. <laughs> no, uh, okay. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Every morning he gets up, he looks at the question. He <laughs> when, when Akeem comes back, <laughs> yeah. he's yeah. like, I've got it ready. Because to go. I bet Akeem knows. So uh, every once in a while, you hear about someone that uh, reveals that. He's been not, like hiding his sexuality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. People, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had a person. Yeah, all the Republican senators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I had a guy. I had a guy. I had a person in my family who married and then never had kids, but then had to reveal to his, his wife, you yeah. know, wife. I'm sorry, this was a mistake, and I'm and I apologize. And they're still very good friends, but he was uh, he was not. Straight. So was it, now I know that it's a spectrum, and yeah. so it's not just you know you're gay or straight. There's a whole spectrum involved, a million different uh, possibilities. So a million's a lot, but I feel what you're saying. But you know, okay. yeah. But you know, what I'm saying it's not just uh, cut it's and not dry. cut and dry. Yeah, yeah, so, it's a gray area. So, th- like, 
like uh, say there's a dad and he's got a family yeah. and he, he's uh, and uh, you know he's sucking your dick right yeah. <laughs> uh, I like that so I'm, I'm glad you just cut to yeah. it you know but uh, so I'm oh, always suck wondering my dick dad is he <laughs> that's what I say now he wants to do this but is it with him and his family and his wife he can they're still... in the car too waiting <laughs> no no but he can still <laughs> what is the question Tom oh is, my god does he like being with his wife uh, I don't know well, or does he like sucking your dick more? I don't think he's a all gay like, men. <laughs> I don't talk about his wife. I just fuck him and go home. Like you never hey, asked him. Like, I know. Oh, you don't get involved. Do you like this more no, than women? No, it would be women? funny if Akeem wildly sucking his dick says, hey, hold on, hold on. Do you like your wife? Yeah, what do you like better? <laughs> I, I want to know which what do you he think likes about? more. Do you think about your wife when you're sucking he my dick? Probably, he probably loves his wife. He probably lo- he could be bi, loves having sex with his wife, but he could also just, he really enjoys having sex with men. And there's That's a, true. And there's a bad stigma around homosexuality when it comes to men, especially. So he hides, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he hides yeah. it because of the social norms of being of presenting as a straight man. But what does he like more? I feel like he likes the dick more. No, right? he, no, you only fight that because he gets pussy all the time. So it's just something different. Mm. So he likes so the, he, he, likes probably, he could like the, the difference. Dick, he can like the dick equally. He can like the dick less. But the fact is, he's not able to get dick as much as he wants because he's not openly gay. I so it's taboo. I think right. I see what you're I asking. Know, I, know what think, likes I think what he's trying <laughs> to figure out more. is, yeah. I think based on what you're asking you and the way you're asking. want everyone to be like the same, and it's going to vary from person to person. <laughs> well, it's easier if everyone's the I same. I think you answered your own question. I think that, of course, he likes the dick sucking better because he's hiding it. And it's more exciting. I, okay, okay, well, yeah. yeah that's it, a dumb question. <laughs> is it a dumb question? I think it is. Because I want to... Uh, I think it's just... I don't think... I think uh, it's like... I don't know. Some people... Some Like, when you think of bisexuality, there's always bisexual men who lead in one way or another. I don't think it's, it's ever necessarily a 50-50. There's always bisexual men who's like, oh, I like women more, but every now and then I hook right. up with... Like yeah. a trans woman or a very feminine woman or a very feminine man and blah, blah, blah. And then you have other dudes who's like, hey, I fuck women every now and then, but I usually fuck dudes. And there's, there's a leaning towards it. I'm a, I'm like, I think you could be 80% straight every now and then you let a dude suck your dick or whatever. Or mm. you could be me, 99.9% gay. And, and the thought of uh, having sex with a woman disgusts you. It doesn't disgust me, uh, but it does, it does nothing for not me. That's your thing. Yeah, nothing there. I'm not disgusted by it. I just don't, I don't it does nothing for me at all. It's, it's just like you wouldn't get horny or No, I've never, I've never had sex with a woman. Um, so I got so many questions, uh, but yeah, the, yeah. the answers to them is everybody's different. Yeah. And it's more complicated than you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and that's the pretty problem. Much, you know, much. but, but everybody, like, I feel like if you're ignorant to any lifestyle, you just want to simplify it. And, um, here to say nothing simple in life, right? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And no, that's the hard, not. and that's what causes so many problems is because it's more complicated than people want to try to. It's make not, cut, it's not cut, cut and dry, dry, but people would like it to be. So um, when you when you do your 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 act and when you're out and you're trying to think of new jokes and you're writing things and you're sharing some of these tales, yeah. how do you choose which ones are too far? How do you, do you, uh, how do, you do you test them out? You, I sometimes I post like sometimes I'll post them on Facebook or online, and if they get a lot of likes on Facebook or, or whatever, then I'll try them on stage. Sometimes I just try them on stage at like shows where it's like whatever. Like if you like it, you don't. It doesn't. Not to say that it doesn't matter, but like when I'm doing spots in New York at some clubs. I can just try stuff out and it'll it'll sink or stream or it'll either sink or do really well. Right, right. And uh, but I don't, I just tell all the stories and then I'm like if some of them work and then some of them I'm like oh well that's not gonna work. Yeah. And then, do you yeah. ever uh, get any backlash from someone you told a story about that no. heard you saying the story on nah. stage? No. Because a lot of the dudes I'm fucking aren't really following my comedy career. <laughs> Right, yeah, but what, right. yeah, but then all of a sudden uh, you start doing a special on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. and then, well, he's yeah. not doxing yeah. them. He's not giving yeah. out yeah. their names. Yeah, but yeah. they'll know. They'll be yeah, like, that was know. me. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's well, for their knowledge we'll, to know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good problem to have. I guess. I mean, I told us. I told a U-Haul story on uh, on Horrible Decisions. Is a really popular podcast. It went viral on Twitter. Like really viral on Twitter, and they haven't reached back out to me, so I'm sure. So, and if they do, they're like, "Oh yeah, that's the dude that fucked us in the U-Haul." Oh, so they, they but they Tom probably saw. That, it, I said that to him, and he goes, he screams in a U-Haul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> it was really that's fun. Like, well, it, <laughs> it sounds it, fun. it makes it well or horrible. Guys I mean, it's, are it's, horny. It's, it's not going to be in the middle. It's yeah. like, it's like yeah. it was okay. In yeah. hindsight, it was very unsafe, but like whatever, it was fun. Like you know how many times I've been I hooked up in a Staples too, and want to do a Staples. Like the store? Yeah. 
Like, in the oh store? In the there's bathroom, our, Aren't yeah. those closing In everywhere? the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Staples, my God. Yeah, I was, well, I, I went there to go pee, and then this dude, so you know how in the urinals, those three urinals, there's the middle one, the right and left, and I always see, like, the middle one's the gay one. Like, if you're standing in the middle urinal and no one is on the right <laughs> and left, that's gay. You want someone to see your dick. So I never stand in the middle one because I think that's rude, <laughs> uh-huh. so I always stand in the right or the left. Never so people can opt to not, so anyway, I'm standing in the, on the far left urinal, there's a middle urinal that's empty, and then those are the other urinal that was open, so a dude walked in, he stood in the middle one, which is, like, the gay urinal, Okay. and he's looking over at my dick, and and he, and he gestures, and I look over his, and we just look at each other, and then we I get them peeing, I go in the stall, he follows me, and then we hook up. <gasps> Is that That's easy? So yeah. easy, yeah, yeah. my God. I go to Staples, I can't even find a person. Dick, to I looked at his dick. Yeah, yeah. I go to Staples, I can't even find one person to help me get computer paper. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker's going in there, and he's yeah. meeting uh, handsome men. Yeah, I mean, he was hot. He was you hot. understand <laughs> how hard it is as the normal... Uh, uh, regular resting mad face, you know, <laughs> middle aged fat dad to get their dick sucked. It is a tremendous amount it of work. Be, you got to go to a Staples. Uh, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta no, go. yeah. no, no, that doesn't exist. <laughs> or you can, you know, go crazy at a blood donation center, and your wife will offer you one. Uh, yeah. They, <laughs> well, that, yeah. Well, that's the anomaly, Sam. That's that. That's outside. You say of, that, but I don't think so. Yeah. Again, like you said, everybody's different. There's a lot of Dan's out there. I, I, forgot, don't know. I, don't I know. forgot that was me. <laughs> yeah, I was getting blood uh, tests done, and my wife to calm me down was like, oh, I'll no. suck your dick. <laughs> I was like, yeah. thank you. I just don't. That's, 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 kind of, down. that's not a popular <laughs> meme. I can tell if It's not a popular meme on your algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, there's no meme that's like, my wife sucks my dick too much. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait the guy oh, giving a oh, thumbs up. say that. Tom, have you ever had sex in public? It like, he uh, barely has sex. <laughs> people that saw it, like no, you know, no, just in public in general, like at a pub in a public place, like in the woods or staple, like uh, you know, in the back of a staples. car after Jimmy's wedding one time. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. well, I was a younger man though. In, the back in of my twenties, that doesn't happen anymore. In an orange grove, I had plenty of life experiences. Uh, it just none of them. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the back of a car is cool. Okay, to, yeah, yeah. I'm just gauging how but boring you but are. But with your future <laughs> wife, it's not cool. It's not cool anymore. He has sex in silence. It's not as much of an adventure. Like I think. He looks at what you're doing. And he's like, "That looks like a fun adventure." It's fun. I like it. Well, you know what is it? Uh, you know how many times a dude has been in a bathroom and they're like, "I wish someone was sucking my dick." Right now. <laughs> like it I happens do that every time. Uh, I go every day. <laughs> and then if you have two dudes that like suck each other's yeah. dick, it works out perfect. That's why you have an advantage over the rest of us. Yeah. yeah well, Plus, you guys are at Staples, so you're getting work done. There's we no the, disadvantage. I, I was just there to pee. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all the hate. So let's talk about all except for, that. Except for Florida. <laughs> No. <laughs> missed the joke. I mean. Have we have you, have we talked to you since you were on James Gordon? Mm-hmm. I don't think we did, did we? Uh, we talked, but I don't think we talked about James Gordon because we went on some sex rant. Oh yeah, we always get on some yeah, sex yeah. rant. How, what, so let's let's I guess let's start there because I think that's like the last time. Yeah. we communicated with you. And I did it Gordon like two years ago, I think. Yeah. Before the world shut down and everything sort of changed. So how was how was that experience? Was it good? Uh, so great. James couldn't have been nice. So whenever people ask me about, like, was James nice? I'm like, he was very nice to me. Sure. But also, he was at work. <laughs> like you're right. not gonna, you're yeah. not gonna be a dick yeah. at work. Yeah. You're not giving work. him a salad. Yeah. Or something. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but he was so nice. He said we sat in the green room before the show and we talked for like 25 minutes about about comedy and about London because that's like where he grew up or whatever. He was super nice. You know, it's, it's I hear that from like late night hosts that are like they'll go and talk to their guests in the yeah. green room before, and then I've always thought just record that conversation and put it out as a podcast. Yeah. Because that's probably infinitely more interesting yeah. because you have more time. But than I, the think, two I think minutes. It's, I think it's more more interesting because they know it's not it's personal oh, yeah, i yeah, think yeah. if you threw in the aspect that it was being recorded it, it, it wouldn't be it as changes it wouldn't be know, as, yeah. if they recorded it secretly then yeah probably. yeah you'd have to record it secretly and then afterwards say hey just so you know we were secretly recording yeah, it. Yeah. we know you're mad yeah. but can we release that yeah exactly. but it, it's just the late night format has always been it, like is now well, our content yeah. that people aren't as interested in you know well, yeah but it was it was it was it went really well it was really fun to do um you look good on it i liked your you. outfit thank you yeah Shout out to Yamanika. I was have to give her credit. Yamanika helped me pick out that outfit. I don't know if you guys know if you guys know Yamanika. She's phenomenal. It, was but, she uh, uh, like a designer? She's a comedian. Comedian. Oh, she was in yeah. here. Was oh, she? Yeah. yeah. When did we have? I was 
That's yeah, I mean, why I couldn't tell you. Dude. She's so funny. Oh, we talked to her yeah, about black women. It she's... all runs together because we've had so many people come through, especially yes. any if, if we she's... talked to her during the pandemic, yeah. that's gone in my brain. She's one of the funniest comics in New York. Yes. Um, she's on that new show, Life and Beth with Amy Schumer. We yeah. talked to her about yeah. hanging out with you, and then we yeah. knew you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah, yeah. that. I love her. But yeah, she. I, I Zoomed. I was FaceTiming her while I was in L.A. looking for my outfit, and she helped me pick it out. Um, so, uh, living in New York, um, what is it now? Is like a lot of people took off after the pandemic uh, or during the pandemic. As far it's as it's back to being regular New York, it's the awesome. same as before. Same, ra- uh, dirty, amazing, great, terrible, homeless people. Uh, it's uh, real yeah. estate prices still um, super high. Is that because it's it's kind of it's lower than it was. It's 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 like mid. It's not. It's not crazy, but it's, it's not starting as, to come back. Exactly. It's not as bad as it was from what I've heard, but it's not. It's not like you know. I'm doing. I, I live in a place and I'm doing all right. Because nice. I, I feel like there was I'm a studio. There was a peak time if you wanted to live in New York, like during the like right. Oh yeah, rent in the middle was, of the pandemic, people were getting crazy rent deals because somebody yeah. it was a mass exodus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So because I, New York is a. T- I wasn't there during the pandemic. I I got there a little bit after, but New York was is like a terrible place to be in the pandemic because it's so on top of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the so, whole thing was yeah, designed was for people too. to be smushed together. Yeah, so most people yeah. were like, let's get out of here. So the rent went, went down a lot. I know some people who got some crazy deals. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there was a lot of people that took advantage of that time. And But the, but the problem is, is rent. So with rent, well, it'll always go it'll back go, up. Yeah, it's going to go someplace else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I guess if you purchased an apartment or something. Well, you know. even though but the rent can only go up by law, the rent can only go oh, up a certain amount each year. So by law, if you got a really, really good deal... By law, you can do the math and be like, hey, this is going to be a good deal for at least three years gotcha. because yeah, yeah, they only yeah. can increase this much, this much, this much. Uh, so imagine that anxiety as you move into your new place. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? You're like, this is great, but I'll be out of here in about two and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then yeah. you know they'll k- kick you out. Yeah, right? exactly. Do you you go party after sets like uh, party? Uh, well, I'm just saying, like uh, after you uh, get done working, I've never drank in my life. Well, I mean, you mean are, like like take on the out. night? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, go yeah. hang out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but I normally, I, most of my like, I'd say eighty percent of my friends are comics. So if I'm hanging out, I'm mostly like hanging out at, like the cellar. Or just hanging out with him, like in the city, walking around. I don't like go to clubs and stuff like that. Not gotcha, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, not drinking though, I think that's got to be good for you in your career. Yeah, I've keep never drank. I've, I've never drank in my life. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but it's it's got to like keep you like kind of like organized. Yeah. I mean, I and and I save. I would I would say I sa- I save a lot of money because I mean, granted, at most of the clubs you drink for free, but sure. Yeah, I just never been interested in it, so I never did it. They should give you something else. Like if you are a sober comedian, like they extra give you money. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sorry, like, yeah. like, they give money. you like five hundred extra dollars. I think that'd be great. Yeah. They give us they give us food and stuff at that but at the cellar. Yeah, you get chicken like, fingers don't pay the rent. Yeah, you know, no, you're like, right. but but there was a time like you booked Artie Lang and he's drinking like <laughs> oh, yeah. you know uh, oh. eight hundred bucks of booze or food yeah. or whatever. You know, yeah. so some that's a lot. Pe- some of these people are really bad alcoholics. And yeah, it's yeah. fun to watch because I'm is it, sober, just like, hey, you guys are messy. Have you ever been in these situations? Because, I mean, the people that you're, you know, in, in, in like, I was going to say in cahoots. What, who says yeah. that? What am I, a cowboy? <laughs> um, but, like, the people that you're kind of navigating that are, like, in adjacent lanes that yeah. might help you or you're on a bill or you see what they do. Do you ever see anybody and you're like, oh, man, that's not good. And you just, you know, I mean, because you're professional, you're not going to I've say seen I've seen it. some people, black, like, Close like famous people, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen. I won't say names, but I've yeah. seen some famous people like blackout drunk. And I'm like, oh, this is yeah. Or, or someone drunk in the promising these young comic stuff. And I'm like, oh, they don't realize how drunk he is, and they think this is gonna matter tomorrow. Right? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen that a few times. Because New York, I mean, legitimately, like when I think of. Uh, uh, of stand up comedy, I always yeah. just the first. That's the first place I think of. Yeah, I don't know why. I think well, it's because uh, it's 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 like where it's it's where it, it's where you go to do stand up. Stand New York is the city for stand up. L A is the city for TV shit. Yeah. And well, so, let's let's talk about that. I mean, you've been wanting to do that and have done some, yeah, right? Yeah, I lived in LA for four years, but you guys know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we know yeah, that. Yeah. But like, what uh, what stuff? Um, like, are you doing any? Like, because didn't you you wanted to get on a show, right? I still do. I'm audition. I've, I've done a few auditions and stuff. Um, I, I did late night. I did a show. I did a. I was on season two of Pause on HBO with Sam J. So that was really fun. I'm on a new show called Sex Cells on Fuse TV. It didn't come out to November, though. Nice. What is that about? 
Uh, it's like a man on the street type show, and we it's really it really talk about sex. And we the episode that I'm in, we were like on the street talking about dick pics, and we got some people on the street to show us the dick pics, which was really fun. Some of those dick pics was good, and then we went to like an orgy and stuff like that. It's real fun. You know, it's a show about sex. <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of people that would be willing to show you a picture of them nude. As long as they're not sending it to you. Well, it, you know did, what it, no, it, did, it did help yeah, that my control. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're like here. Because yeah. I feel like there are a lot of people that uh, or would be willing to show themselves new yeah. if they knew it, it, all the person has is their memory of yeah. it. Yeah, which is still something. Yeah, and it was anyway. It helped that the co-host is um, uh, her name's. I don't know if you you guys probably know Weezy. She she has the podcast over decision. She's one of the people on there. She's gorgeous. Yeah. So the it helped that she was next to me. So in their head, they're like, I guess I was. They really want to show it. To to her because she's gorgeous, but like I guess this gay dude can look too. Yeah, yeah. What, so that was how helpful. What is that? Uh, because I used to make that joke about like wanting to show your genitals to uh, a beautiful uh, person. I don't know. I don't have that. So <laughs> you don't gonna, have that. We're gonna have to speak on this. But there's some, the, I mean, not that I, I never do that. Do you, but have yeah. the, do you have the thing where if I mean, you if see, someone asks to see my dick, I'll show it to him. But I'm not like no. Like if you see like if you're standing in a man uh, or standing in a room with a uh, there's a good looking man. Yeah. Do you instantly want to show this guy. If oh no, a beautiful not, woman, no, 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 no. He no, instantly no, want to no. show his dick. Or show no, his dick I don't. I don't woman. have that want at all. Is that that I? You're a predator or something? No. Yeah, you're a creep. It's in the back. Back of your head of like things that you would like to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's in the back of your head. No, no. Don't put that in our head. That is your it's head. It's the thing, the fucking CK and yes. all these people. That it's got your them it's all the memes I see. It's your thing, <laughs> Tom. There's so much of it, though. Uh, it's not just me. You it's got a, a kink. You got a you problem. Got, you got a. Ex- <laughs> you got, you got a um, what's that kink? Where you like to expose yourself in public? I can't think of. No, the I'm not a goddamn exhibitionist. Yeah. I'm not that. You're an exhibitionist. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just saying it's just in there. It's a seed. It's in ingrained the, in him. In the back core. of my brain. Gotta, he's, he's had this, like, he has said that. You gotta like, go to a sex club. Get, get these kinks out. Uh, I think maybe you do. Maybe <laughs> uh, too you, awkward. Just because you can't feel it. You, it's know, a, like, no, you yeah, can't experience uh, it. I mean, everyone's awkward when they first go, but once you get, like, and you drink, so you get a few drinks in you and get loose, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done it? I don't drink, but I've been to a sex club. Yeah, yeah like is is the vibe like when you go for the first time? Is the vibe just like, oh my god, I can't do this? Uh, I like, went with someone, so it was it was so easier. I, I, I think if I went by myself, I would have been kind of scared. But I went with someone. It was it was hella fun. Bunch so of dudes it, fucking everywhere it was great. But, but so like I go with you in a sex club. Oh, you don't want to go to the sex club? I'm going. To. I'm going to the gay <laughs> well, one. They have like a uh, they have they have sex clubs for bowl? straight people. Yeah, they yeah. put yeah. you in the little the where the baby <laughs> stay. Yeah. Like, yeah, they yeah. have sex clubs for, for straight people. I don't go to those obviously. Okay. I don't want to see naked women but let's say yeah, I'm gay. Waste. I go yeah. into you, uh, the sex club with you what is is there a bar up front what are we talking here it varies some of steam room some of sauna some some it's you a want, sauna yeah okay. some will like some are like, walking into a sauna is there no lobby no so you'd walk in and check in and you it's some it varies some are like clothed optional so some you can be fully clothed or in gym shorts or in a jock strap and some will just like you have to be everyone has to be naked it depends on which one you go to is there a, a lobby or can what I buy a Red he Bull wants a, he wants a locker <laughs> to put his clothes what in like he's it? getting on the whole coaster <laughs> yes, yes been... there are lobbies yes Okay. you so... don't just walk in in a room and everyone's fucking no I don't but what's the lobby look like and what's the, the well, options there's more than one sex club <laughs> I can't speak to I all don't... sex clubs I them all to be the same I'm telling you this is my day every day it's but this I game, Tom. you have to give me the details because I don't know what it is sex clubs and look they throw pictures of the club I, the only ones I know are from the videos and then the ass is sticking out of some guy's <laughs> bang and there's a wall and there's it's a so weird there's so many different types of those leather there's clubs a, a, those, a, it's a lot it, 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 it but that's what you they know what I'm talking about it's a fucking you, there's ladies asses and you know, cut out in the wall and you are you pay money and you go and you bang the. Uh, I, but I think that's, that's the only I thing I know that's a very specific I think that's a porn that you watch yeah, 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 yeah. I think what, so what that, I don't know is talking about is yeah. more of like a, a legitimate where it almost sounds yeah. like friends yeah you know they're like buddies they're like hey my buddy's having this uh, yeah. it's an adult party and you come over and then when you okay. walk in let, so let's say maybe there's a bar at the company. front I'm just I, you tell me if I'm hitting the there's mark one, there's one the, there's that option but there are sex little legit sex clubs okay. where it's a club where men and women or just men Go to have consenting sex yeah. with, and like group orgy. I mean, the stuff. woodshed is that yeah, we have them here okay. too. Yeah, There's I mean, they're everywhere. Yeah. So yeah. tell me about it. You I don't know. I've never There's been a bar. To, I've never. Room. Room. Do you want him? Well, to they're give all you different, the, right? Because like the woodshed is yeah. more of like a warehouse type yeah. situation. I've where, never been to one here. The only one I went yeah. to was one in New York. Well, that's what I want to hear I think about. If you're and there's go, some that are like they're like. 
veiled as like men's health spas. Yeah. So yes, they will yeah. have like a lobby and stuff, but yeah. then you can go okay. back into the I steam want rooms or the hot tubs. Yeah. Water. I want so, towels. They're rolled. all different. So, they're all different. but I want to know, like, okay, I walk into the sex club, right? There, there's, there's one that the one the one that I went to was a BDM. It was it was during BDSM BDM. Oh. Oh, okay. week. So that it was more. It was way more intense for you. You couldn't. It, it's a lot to start off with. Oh, but on. it was. I, I can handle it. I mean, I'm tough as hell. No. Okay. <laughs> so this particular <laughs> club, down. this particular club was just like it was very much focused on BDM. So those people being tied up. There was like there was like a part of the club where there was like. <laughs> this is it dark in there? It is dark. It's okay. dark. Carpet you, you, or tile? Uh, it's all tile because they had like a pee thing at the end. Oh, um, oh yeah. Yeah. 21p yeah. salute. All right, everybody. No, they they had, like, they had a room? bunch. Of, they right. had no, I want everybody respectful. This is for my dead grandfather. <laughs> no, no. It was this one guy who was really into peace, so we threw like this thing, and then like you get to hang out. Hey, whatever. at the end, guys, if I'm good, will you piss off my butthole? <laughs> Correct. Right. And everyone, everyone <laughs> peed on this dude. But did you? Oh, oh. And the, and the, was so there the thing was there was plan? Like, <laughs> yeah, the thing was like it was free. The plan dr- was to pee. <laughs> no, I know, but it's like, yeah. So those like, were it was free drinks. So I don't. I mean, everyone there was drinking. Yeah, yeah. Scott, he sat there. So they, so you can pee on Were the dude. Were they serving so the dude them was, out of an ice chest? No, <laughs> just regular beers or whatever. You just drink okay, whatever. Yeah, but I'm saying was and it, then at the end of the night, you, you hand just, me you one of these. Sobe, so me whites. <laughs> no. Yeah, and then at the end of the night, you pee <laughs> on the dude who wants to get peed on. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, yeah, but this, oh, I need to know more details. So, wait, <laughs> so are you standing there? Is it all going around around you, or do you have to go into a different room? Those different rooms. And, and then does someone who says, like, hey, who wants to pee on someone? And then everybody raises their it's hand. A, it's just, you just no, it, it was on the invite. It was on the invite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every on Charles at yeah. midnight. It was one of the events. It was an event, yes. It was if, on the invite. I, I'm telling yeah. you right now, if somebody sent me an invitation that the end says, hey, and at the <laughs> end of the night, at midnight, we're pissing on Jerry, yeah. I'll fucking be there. Like, yeah. I'll be there. It was very, it was, it's, it's well this organized. Awesome. Gay people were organized. It was uh, all it's organized. It's like the cruise agenda that uh, Tony yeah. gives us. It was right right itinerary. At one o'clock, okay. you go meet so, here and you do this. Itinerary. So yeah. then when you're peeing on Jerry, is yeah. he uh, nude? Where is he staying? It's up to Jerry. Yeah, no, I I'd really like to wear my old navy puffy <laughs> jacket. So close, probably. Not. I have an Is old he navy. sitting in a swimming pool? Is there, you know, it's how many all dudes? Up to Jerry and oh, what God. Jerry wants. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I mean, is there Jerry's the, kink? Yeah, you, yeah, it's his kink. What if there's too many? We're like, we can't. Right. Not in my eyes. Not in my eyes. Like, Waterboarding and piss. Yeah. Like you know, when everybody puts their hand in, and then I don't know. I didn't. One pee guy on has Jerry. to put their hand over the person's shoulder. I just around. So, so was there one close. person? I'd like to think that there's one person where they're like, did they do a countdown? Was it like three, two, one? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't stick around for the peeing part, uh, but I just know because I like for the I guy, like, I one shows. guy that's like I'm running late. He runs in. He's like, ah. Well, my prostate. I have to. <laughs> oh my hard, god. And then sometimes I'm that's like, not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about your prostate. I can only well, you can just squirt. pretend. You can just pretend like people that unplug their guitars when they're on stage. <laughs> no, no, put if your dick you want to go to a guy will see me and be like, you're not pissing. Go to a sauna, like a sex, like a sex place that's like a sauna. It's just like a sauna. You go and you check in. You pay whatever much for a locker fee. And then you can you can either do stuff, sexual stuff. You can, people will be having sex. You can go in and watch. Or you can join, or you can just enjoy the fucking sauna. Those sex places like that. The, uh, the, oh, that sounds good. I hide from my family. I'll just yeah. sit in the sauna watching people fuck, and yeah. then no one will know I'm in there. The closest yeah. sauna to me is Planet Fitness. <laughs> I'm happening like, there. No, no. Uh, I mean, people are fucking in Planet Fitness, but <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, but so, are. But yeah. is it? Everybody there is on the same page, though. Yes. Okay. So there's not just some random no, old knows, Jewish guy in the sauna. Everyone, everyone knows, knows what they know oh. what the place is, and, and you, you don't can, need to sign anything. Or, no. Okay. Yeah. See, that's they check your ID. How much you have to pay? I don't know. It varies. 20, 25, 40, 50, depends oh my on what. That's cheaper than going to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I've wasted that much my money in this morning. I could yeah. either go to the see the machine, which yeah. you know, or I could piss on Jerry at midnight. <laughs> yeah. I it, know where I'm going. It all depends on like you know some. I mean, the more nice exclusive. Exclusive places probably cost more, but it, it's fucking awesome. Is yeah. there creepers in of the course. gay community where, like, I, because I've heard this? In I don't your, see gay creepers. And, That's a good question. And, I'm sure there are. Yeah. And like in creepers the, everywhere in yeah. the swing community, which I, I've uh, done uh, my research on and I've talked a lot about. Uh, so I kind of know I've what's seen going the on. Creepers in the swinging community, and then every once in a while you get some single dude that wanders in there. I think the, there. there's creepers in every community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're having fun and having consensual fun, Somebody fun sex, to ruin someone, it. someone. 
someone wants to someone doesn't understand the lines and wants to be creepy about it. But there's nothing you can do about it because that's just that's just the nature of the game. Can you boot them out? Uh, no, they, they, uh, some clubs they do they do they give warnings and then if you do it again they will kick you out and they will they ban people oh, and stuff like be that. Embarrassing yeah. man, you're standing there, you're what? naked, some guy telling you to get the fuck out of there. Oh god, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 pull me aside. The employees, don't do it in front of everybody. Yeah, the employees who their job is to like you know make sure it's a safe space. So like if you're being too creepy, they're like, hey, we warned you once, Jeff, but one more time, and yeah. we're going to kick you out, and then you're they kick you out, here, and they man. ban you, and stuff like that, yeah. yeah. How do you find out where these places are? The cool. internet. <laughs> they, they yeah. The thing you tell me all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on there. Everything's in your pocket. You can Google sex clubs nearby, and it'll pop up. Don't they? Yeah. Cops trying to bust them, and They're not like doing that. anything illegal. Well, you know how you have sex are. inside of, of a inside a building, so it's not in public. It's consensual. It's consensual. It's everyone there. You're is, paying for entrance, not for the sex. Yeah, everyone there True. is at a certain age. There's nothing illegal about it. Not, yeah, I know. Sex it, is just sex is just is, is just this weird thing that people demonize as yeah. this bad thing. It's but just it's, a wet handshake. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> That's what I say. It's not illegal. You're not doing anything illegal, so the cops can't yeah, do yeah. anything. Other, now, if you're there doing drugs or whatever, then yeah, of course. But like. Is that something that, like, in New York, you probably, do you see less drugs in New York or more I saw drugs? more drugs in L.A. That's than what I, just I would saw think. in New York, yeah. 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 Everyone yeah. in L.A. was doing coke. What do you think Is of it, like, like, not your vibe? It wasn't for me. Yeah. I, I always say, it, it. if it's for you, it's for you. I, I have, I'm friends with, Carmen is out there, you yeah. know Carmen, she yeah, loves love it. Carmen. JB Ball's out there, he yep. loves it. Like, it's for some people, it just wasn't for me. I gave it four years and it, and I left. So, Akeem, where, uh, what's the next step after? Yeah, of course, I don't think we yeah. even plugged your show. Oh, yeah. uh, well, I've been Headlines trying to. Yeah. I always know that yeah. when he comes in, we're just going to talk. So I've been trying to hit him on everything we have. Twitter, Instagram, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Akeem Woods. We're at a, I'm finding out 11,000 followers, which nice. is very small, but like it's getting there. Uh, Akeem Woods on social media. I'm headlining the Orlando Improv tonight. Uh, seven thirty. Go to akimwoods dot com to get tickets. Yes. Um, th- we had promo code, but we gave all those tickets away. But if you like broke and you needed tickets, just DM me. I can put you on a list. Akimwoods dot com. Uh, Akimwoods Instagram. You can follow uh at TikTok. I guess I never post on there. I have nineteen thousand followers though. I don't do anything with them. That's good though. Uh, but Akeem Woods is on on that as well. And you can follow my Twitter. I think I have fifteen followers. And I you're uh, Twitter, you're doing Akeem shows. Uh, you're doing the show tonight. I'm headlining tonight, so and then sell we have, that out. yeah, yeah, and we have a super special guest. I can't, I can't say who it is, but but they are very funny, and they were just recently nominated for an Emmy. There you go. I'll tell you guys who the special guest is off the air. Okay, and um, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm with Godfrey. There you go. And he gets in tomorrow morning. So when you're having conversations with other comics in New York, what's the next? What's everybody saying? This is what you got to do next. No one's. It, we don't talk about the show like that. No, no. no we talk about we talk about this stuff. We talk about sex and crazy no, well, stuff. Who's, who's the wild? business? Who's, who's the, who's I mean, the if, if I if I have a business question, I we will discuss. Like if I'm at the cellar and I want, I'm asking like Keith a question or someone like that's been in the game for a long time. We'll have a. A conversation like that, but we typically just have fun. But you've really been dialing it in, though, man. Super organized, yeah. really good videos, really good Thank promotion, you. really good. So, did you make an active effort to? D- I did all. The, yeah, I'm that? trying to do more on social media, so I'm actively doing more on social media. I'm about to start doing. Uh, uh, I'm about to go on a pot, a tour with Horrible Decisions. They're going on a podcast tour, so I'm going to be opening some of those dates with them. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. for you, man. Yeah, like, they, they're, they'll they're, love that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm very excited about that, and I think they'll freak out knowing that one of the most yeah. infamous guests. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It should be fun. You and were getting a lot of heat. It did. It did go that vi- that clip did. Re- I both episodes did really well. Was it weird for you to know that like when it was when you were getting like so so much popularity with that? We all know yeah. comes the negativity. No, you I mitigate thought, I that. Care. Okay, I or? thought it was fine. I didn't because people because like what people what was so weird about that is because we talked about this when I went on the show again. Yeah, people were like they were like, why would he tell that story? He should have took that story to the grave. I'm like, the name of the podcast is literally horrible decisions. Yeah, and it's horrible spelled either. as a whore. Like. Right. Right. So it's he told podcast. basically he told his story and then the, you were about getting terrible sh- hookups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, terrible crazy ideas, hookup. Yeah, yeah. Right. and you were getting shit on a, a lot bit. of people. Yeah. Give me shit on for telling that story. I'm like, one, the story's funny. Yeah. I wouldn't have told the story if it wasn't funny. It's a funny story. Two, I'm aware that it's wild. That's why I That's told the point. it. <laughs> and three, everyone's like, I would never told that story. I'm like, yeah, but you don't talk for a living. <laughs> you're, I not a you're not an entertainer. Yeah. <laughs> right. So right. of course I'm going to tell the story because it's funny yeah. and I make money from. And a lot of people are shamed about their sexual. 
I don't, and that's you're a, not. I thought I've you nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, it. It's like the it's the title. Yeah. I was like, yes, well done. Uh, you get an A for the yeah. For the assignment. I did the assignment, and that's why I went so viral. And but their fans loved it. Like if you read the comments on those two episodes, right, right. everyone was like, favorite guest, favorite guest, favorite. right? Like so, the people who loved it loved it. You know, I got so many was, DMs about it. But it was very over the top. And then I've seen yeah. you also post um, that sometimes you're conflicted with. Being over the top, yeah, yeah. you know, I I hate that, like, because I love going over the top. Yeah, yeah. I love comedy that's over the top. I freaked out when uh, Joe and, and when they when uh, when Tracy Morgan started his set and uh, and it was like so over the top. Yeah, and I was like, okay, this is exactly what I wanted. This yeah. is how I, I and and I like it when you tell stories that will singe people's eyebrows. Yeah. I enjoy that. Do you? Have to struggle with that a little. No, bit not as much anymore it? because people, the people who come to see me, they I've been on so many podcasts about sex between like horrible decisions and and lip service with Angela Yee, and I'm I'm doing a few, I'm doing another one soon uh, that's about sex. And I, uh, we're having gay sex with Ashley Gavin. Like I've done so many sexual things that it's like if you come to see me now, if you just Google me, you're gonna be like, oh, he's gonna talk about sex. And if you don't want to hear about sex, then that's cool. Just don't, don't come to see me. Can we yell about comments on the internet for a second? Oh, yeah. Because, uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we won't grandpa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Akeem, Akeem will maybe agree with me, but I feel like some people like keep your comments to yourself. They feel like they must comment or they're helping by commenting. Well, here's what I always say about comedy, which, which people don't even realize this because it's so because people are so fucking stupid. If you comment something negative on a video or positive, the algorithm doesn't know you're right. saying it. The algorithm just sees that you commented. So if you comment something like for instance when I did lip service unfortunately and she apologized for it which she didn't have to but I got a lot of homophobic homophobic comics on those videos because the hip hop community is still unfortunately yeah. very homophobic yeah, yeah. and Angela was like I'm so sorry I'm like Angela don't apologize you're amazing this is no problem and I made a video reading the comments and but what was so that. wild was like what those homophobic people don't realize is like the fact that you commented on this the algorithm only sees that you commented on this gay video and it so has now the this algorithm many comments exactly so now the algorithm yeah. One, you helping me, but two, yeah. the algorithm the algorithm is going to show you more gay dudes because it thinks you liked it because yes. it doesn't know that you, you said something <laughs> negative, and they're giving you content yeah. that you're using. Yeah. To so now it. it's like so it's like anytime you, you, so anytime you comment something, man, gay people are going to help. Blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah, but now the algorithm is going to keep giving you gay people. So the best thing you can do is just not say anything. Yeah, it, yeah, keep scrolling. So that's what I want to talk about. It's because, true. Like I will ask questions on the internet, uh, and then people. People will comment back, for instance, found a drone. I'm like, how do I know this? And someone made a comment like, is there a name on it? <laughs> and I was like, well, why do you? It's so obvious. Of course there's no name. Why would I even ask the question? If there was someone's name, if Jerry yeah, was on the yeah. side of it, then I wouldn't ask the no, question. he's getting pissed on <laughs> at the sex club. But, it, but people will make some obvious. They're, and well, the thing they're about, trying to help. The thing about comments that people need to realize when, when you're getting in social media, especially when you start blowing up or whatever, yeah. is there's something about anonymity that makes humans the worst people on the planet yeah because the thing about about the people nine times out of ten the people that are commenting these hateful things do they don't have a profile picture they don't have the They're real the name trolls, there's no way you can find out who they are unless you're like a tech guy who can find someone by their ip address or something like that but for the most part you can't find out who they are and when people have this type of like anonymity where they can say whatever they want that, that's when they're the most racist the most homophobic the most hateful because there's no backlash because they're at home in Idaho and they're like man gay people suck I hate black people blah 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 but they're in Idaho and no one's going to shitty Idaho well, so Idaho like, is the Florida of the left so I've it's like it. it's way over it, there is so it, they'll say they whatever they, they want yeah, there's it, no accountability is yeah. it good no to see it though because, I'm sorry uh, so is it good to see it because I thought about this because uh, the more and more we live in a bubble of our own friends and family right and then you start getting rid of people and following people outside of your friends and family. So yeah. everybody kind of, you, you know, the, you forget that there are still horrible, hateful Terrible people. people. And yeah. then you see that well, and that's, you're like, whoa. That's exactly why. That, I remember the SNL sketch when, when Trump run, won for president. And the SNL sketch, they had that sketch of like, because everyone was like, why, how Trump went? No one thought Trump was going to win. But all comics all knew he was going to win because we tore the country for a living. So people who are like, Trump's not going to win. People who live in like New York and LA and, T- and San Francisco, yeah, Chicago. Yeah, they big city. They exactly. They're like, him. these people don't exist. I'm like, no, no, no. I've been to Nebraska, Idaho, Wisconsin. Okay. He's winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're, so you're more in touch yeah. with the people. Yeah, yeah you're because out there I'm, with them. I'm, in, I'm yeah. a gay black man He's... in North Dakota. I've been to all these places. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, oh I've no, he 
like, hey, yeah, I'm like, he's 100% winning. And like, we don't believe you. And then when he won, I had to tell people, like, I told you so. I'm like, I wasn't surprised because I'm actually in the world. But the thing yeah. is, when you're in these big cities, yeah. you're not, you're in, when you're in these big liberal cities, you just assume, you're like, people aren't really saying. You forget, like, yeah, how right. many people yeah. are in middle America? Yeah, they're like, white people aren't really right. saying the N word. I'm like, yes, they are. They're like, they're not calling people faggot. I'm like, yes, they are. Like, they are. You just don't see it. Yeah. yeah. And then, then you then think when it's you like, tour, well, you're like, oh, yeah. yeah, it exists and it's bad. Yeah. 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 So Oof. in in a way, by seeing the trolls hate, although some of it is like, is this just a bot of trying to stir up shit? Well, like, that's, that's there, yeah. too. You know, like, because then there's something where it's like not even humans. The uh, one that you're <laughs> there, or like some fucking uh, Russian troll or whatever the hell it is. You know, like all this shit that's you're like, this isn't even real. The one that you're referencing, though, about the guy in, in when you found the drone who wrote, does it have a number on it? A lot of people also use social media almost as like an involuntary, like it's it's as if their wife is in the kitchen saying, "Honey," and they're like, "Yes," like yeah. that guy's reaction yeah. to you is, is that, either, yeah. it's literally subconscious. Like that guy sounds to me like he's totally addicted to social media yeah. because he's answering you like casually, like yeah. does a it conversation have, before even yeah. Exactly. Well, the thing about social media that's so good and so bad at the same time is like when you do social media for so long and you connect with these people, they feel entitled to you and they. I also feel like you're you're like you're like in the room like that because that's how people people don't really watch tv anymore they all just stare at their phones so when they see you every day or whatever which is good because you build this connection with these people with these fans which is really really good but then it's also really really bad because sometimes it fucks them up mentally because they think that they're your friend or whatever so the perfect example i remember i was at the cellar and aziz was there and he went on, I went on, and he was going on after me. He was running his set for, like, a special or whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. And was standing in the hallway at, about to go on at the McDougal cellar. And I'm sitting there, and I got off, and he t- we, we're talking a bit because it's our first time, like, meeting. He's like, hey, good set. What's that? He's like, how are they? I'm like, oh, they're really good, blah, blah, blah. And the host gets on. He's like, hey, we have a special guest dropping. Uh, please make some noise. Uh, he's working on new material. Aziz and sorry. Audi- audience goes crazy. Everyone stands up. This woman runs up to him to, like, try to give him a hug like attack him and he dodges it and then he gets on stage and obviously he makes fun of it because he has to Mm -hmm. but then the the, i remember val one of the own one of the managers kicked her out because of course you're gonna kick her out you can't run but she couldn't for the life of her she's like no you don't understand her her logic was you don't understand i'm a big fan i'm like bitch he got a standing ovation before he got on stage. Everyone's a big fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you they can't feel just, a connection. But you can't. Yeah. Just, and, and they kicked her out because, of course. But she couldn't fathom why she was being kicked out. She's like, no, you don't understand. I'm a big fan. And, he, and, and they had to explain to her, everyone's a big fan. You don't know him. Yeah, it's you weird. can't hug Ooh. him. You don't know him. It's it's weird because people have the same relationship with us. Uh, yeah, which I don't mind. I'll uh, go to their house and hang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I like maybe well, even, you're Mister Anything yeah. goes. I mean, maybe different. even more so but because y- they see us out, like in yeah. the community. You yeah. know, like I've had but people just the, sit with me at Outback, and I'm yeah. like, uh oh. But even yeah. with the Z's, like uh, social media, you start sharing personal stuff. You yeah. start talking every yeah. day, and you, you're talking every day. It's one way, but I understand. You start developing. We're we're all human beings. You start. Developing a relationship with someone, right? Like, but you, mo- you but know. a lot of people can separate the difference. But then yeah, those, yeah. those few people who can't, like that woman, she couldn't. Yeah, yeah. In yeah, her yeah. mind, her and Aziz are best friends. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. She, and then now she's hurt by the fact that, that she's she kicked, kicked out. out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they can rush someone to try to hug a stranger, and like, yeah. what do you think it is from his point of view? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know this person. Although you can hug me at any time, I'm putting it out there. Uh, I don't think he wants to. Hug you. <laughs> no, I'm saying to everybody listening. Oh, okay. If yeah, you, yeah, you want to yeah, hug me, good. you can pick me up and do the bear hug they do to uh, Goodell. You know, at the you know I get that a lot. Yeah. I get that because of my height. Yeah, you're like a tiny I get man. a lot. I'm almost 50 years. I'm a 50 year old man, and I will get oh. other. Tell grown Daniel how so, short he is. Yeah, other grown ass men will walk right up to me and be like, "Look how short you are." They'll they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll hug me I and like lift it. me off the ground like like Hezbollah, the little guy that are we. Oh, is, is there a live chat thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. What are the people saying? They're mm. they're loving you and want to buy tickets and go you whole sex. Okay, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, is there see. boxes in there? Uh, <laughs> you all know there's a bed. Uh, just a bed and and a, and a headboard and a and a um and a and a chair in the corner. Was the it lamp. made for sex? It was a studio apartment. It was yeah yeah. Oh well, but but was it a U-Haul truck? No, it was a big. It was like a big like a moving U-Haul. 
Okay, but you so gotta they were to living the in it. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Well, they, they were gotta, living in it. Well, I don't well. listen to any other podcast or anything. <laughs> no, we'll I don't know what's going on. Well, you, when, you know, when you have a guest on, you got to do research. Uh, so. yeah, yeah. Well, I looked at your Instagram. I saw you got food poisoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. Food yeah, yeah, poisoning. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I did get food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I did my research. Uh-huh. Favorite state, least favorite state. Because you've been like, have I've you hit them all yet? No, I'm at 39. Um, I knew you were getting up there because I'm I, very close, I like to yeah. see you're going to try to do all 50. I would right. love to, yeah. Yeah, you should. I'm working on it. Uh, my f- least favorite state. You can say Florida. It's fine. I mean, no, if, you, if I we're like there. performing here. I would never live here again. Yeah, and you. Um, I mean, I can understand. That. Alabama. I never. Huntsville is great. The rest of the state is trash. Okay, Huntsville, um, and then best like new, state that you went to, and you're like, you know what? I've really, really late, surprised. lately. I've been loving Colorado. Yeah, Colorado. I dope. was just there. I'm going back and forth. He loves. Yeah, but I love Colorado. State is you too broad is because there's yeah. there's a good city in every state. You know what I'm saying? That's like, true. That's fair. You know. The, that's you could, you could say the majority or whatever, but it's like uh, you know you'd have to narrow it down to like city or place because my favorite. I mean, Denver's very great, Chicago's great, Atlanta's great, um, Baltimore was fun. Like you know how different South Beach is compared to Polk County, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. like or Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa is so different. Like, but it's you a, can say a state's trash. I can comfortably yeah. say Alabama's trash. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I agree. think that's fair yeah, too, yeah. and that's coming from us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure most people. Huntsville is great. I will say I had a blast in Huntsville. The rest of the state can burn. There you go. Um, a lot of problems out of Alabama. <laughs> yeah, 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 always been like that yeah, too. And like, no one uh, I ever hear anybody. We're gonna say, clean like, this up. You know, you gotta go see Alabama. <laughs> like, no one says that. Nah, I've been. Unless you're one. from Alabama, yeah. I, I know, do know people that love the football team. Yeah, like, no, they're they're good. Bowl, the bowl tied or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys been to every, every state? Um, I have been to like. Maybe twenty two or something. Okay. It's, it's Tom, low. You've been every state? He's he's traveled a lot. In I mean, I've been to the outliers like Hawaii, Alaska, yeah. California. He's been to the two toughies. <laughs> yeah. Two toughies. I'm at thir- yeah, I'm at thirty nine. Alaska and Hawaii are two that I have to do. Alaska it's, you gotta do when you're coming in for a landing. Yeah. Yeah, that's for old people. Yeah, I'm my, trying to do a cruise gig. There's like a gay cruise that kinda goes to Alaska, so I'm trying to do that. A gay cruise that goes to Alaska? That sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I can't wait. Uh, I don't have a date yet, but uh, I, I'm, I've done a gay cruise, and it was so much fun, so I'm trying to do more. Yeah, I remember that. You, yeah, it was, was a, a couple years ago? It or? was almost a year ago. A yeah. year ago? Yeah. yeah. It was like right when we were opening back yeah, up, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. It was so fun. There should be some sort... Because I don't believe you can... Because like, if you have a layover in a state, you can't claim to be to go to that no, state, right? No, uh, the 38 states that... I, 39 states I've been to, I've made money in all those states. Yes, yeah, so there has to be oh, like some yeah, yeah. caveat. Yeah, yeah. Like, Dave, yeah, have you made yeah. money? Have if you, you pass through, you don't get the sticker for the back yeah, of your wheel cover. Yeah, you no, gotta, no, no, no. I, I, every, the 39 states I've performed that have all been places who've paid me to do comedy. Also, you should have to see more than one city. Like, just seeing one place... I went to Arkansas for a wedding one time, and like I went to Arkansas... Went to the Grizz's wedding and went to the like the wedding venue and left. And I was like, I, think, I can't say I've been to Arkansas. I think if you're visiting a state, as far as like, I mean, for me, I, I count it. If they pay me, I'm counting it. But I think if you uh, if you're going as a visitor, I think you have to spend at least two days there. Yeah, to say okay, that you've been yeah, to that state. Yeah. All right, if all you're right. a comic, and it doesn't matter because if you're doing a one nighter there, you were there. You're gonna go to Europe. Uh, uh. I'm trying to. I really want to go to to Italy. I want to go to Italy. I really want to go to um. Australia. But just to hook up with dudes or like. I want. I would like to do shows, but I mean, obviously the sex. Yeah, yeah. Sex I want to have sex fun. in one of those gondolas. Hell uh, yeah! That, that sounds Venice, great. Yeah, uh, overrated. Uh, not that good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, uh, you know, I've I been really there. I really want to go. To, I really want to go. <laughs> no to fun. This guy, no, no fun. No, no, That's a bad face. I have you been, have you been to Australia? Humble brag. It's not been, magical. Have you guys been to Australia? No, I, no. <laughs> I would like to go, but the flight I really is go. just brutal, right? It's is like it? a twenty-two-hour flight or I something. I want to go so badly. Go to Japan too. I would go to Japan. Yeah, I like Japan. Asian I would dudes. like to go to Japan. I like Asian. Let's dudes. plug his gigs a couple more times before uh, we um, stop wasting his time. The Improv Orlando dot <laughs> com tonight. Uh, Akeem Woods is headline. Yep. Um, Special guest who was Emmy nominated uh, comedian. There you go. We know you don't know, and yeah. then you are uh, featuring for Godfrey all weekend long. Yes, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We two love Friday, you. Two Saturday, we're one we're Sunday. mega proud of you, Thank and you think so you're much. awesome, and we're glad that everything is going. So and well. you guys owe me T-shirts. You've never sent me them. I think I gave Tom my address. Oh, we. <laughs> my address is different now, so I have to yeah, give you yeah. a different address. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I sent them. Maybe you did not because <laughs> <laughs> I, I had my mail for it. <laughs> I, I don't like, think the we mail said. system <laughs> is not what it used to be. They lost Sam's check the other day. 
<laughs> no, I'm just saying. The, it's not as good. It used to be tight. It and I be... don't have a hat. I wear hats all the time. I don't have a ton okay. of band hats. That's true. We should we, send them all Yeah, hats. we can give you all the hats. They're all yeah. fitted now, too, so they're nice. Message nice. me, and I'll, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll yeah, get yeah, Eric yeah, yeah. here. Or get it to me. Okay. I'll dare you. All right. Because um, Tom can't be trusted. We'll see you. Bye-bye.